Let's have a review today of Havilon knives. They're Cincinnati, Ohio. It says the blades were made in India and the handle made in Taiwan. And this is a Havilon Paranta. A friend gifted this to me and he said that it would be a viable asset for me when it came time to skin a deer or cut up a deer. So there it is and also included is a box of Havel stainless steel sterile surgical blades. There's 12 pieces in here and these come Interestingly enough, I can only imagine that this is how blades for a uh, surgical theater come. These are actual scalpel blades. And they're supposed to be sterile and they're sealed. A number 60A. I don't want to break one open just to break the package. So we'll open up right here and in the pouch, it, it has three extra that comes with the knife. And this is the knife. That's a nice little sheath. It's made out of some type of Gore-Tex material. It has a belt loop on it, a nice military type snap. We'll lay that to the side and let's look at this knife. It's got some, looks like that was done with a laser etcher. It's got a wolf howling at the mountain and the moon and everything like that on it. It's got a belt clip. And this thing is also a lock back. So it's locked in that position. You see their logo here, Havilon Knives. It's held together with, these are Phillips head screws. I'm sure that there's some type of an insert placed into this plastic here to hold that. I would hope there would be. And to, has the regular side lock here push it to the side and then you can fold it back up. It's pretty nice. Let's put it to the test. We've got a piece of paper here and my little notepad. We'll tear it off. And see what a Havilon surgical blade is all about. So, oh yeah. <laughs> Hardly any effort at all, and it just went right through there. So there we have it. And that blade, let me measure that blade. Fire up my calipers here. And the actual cutting length of that blade is 2.148. Let's just call it 2.145 or maybe even two point, just slightly over two inches. The width of the blade is 0.4. The thickness of the blade is 0.24. That's fairly thin. That will go right deep and cut fast. On there it says it's stainless and 60A is the number. So to remove the blade, pry that up, a little wiggle, a little force, and it pops right off. To put the blade back on, you line it up with this groove on both sides, and that goes into this area here push it and it just pops right into place. Not too shabby. 
I wouldn't want to do that free-handed. I wouldn't want to try and hold on to the blade and pull it like that. I would want to use a pair of pliers or something similar. What do I think of it? I think it has some practical purposes. Would I purchase one? I'm not sure if I would or not, but you know, my friend gave it to me with all good intents because he said that's what he was gonna use when he went deer hunting. So I like having the ability to just pop in a fresh blade out in the field. That's That's pretty good. But I just don't know. I just stick with my Mora knife or I'll stick with one of my old Chicago cutlery or old hickory carbon steel knives that I can resharpen anytime I want to.